Hiya kids, today's topic is politics. No, not quite. Right guys, what I'm going to do today is just ask your opinion on what you think I should be doing regarding bikes. If I get off the opinion of most of the people in my family, it's don't ride them, you get crashed into But uh, no, that's not my opinion. I've been looking at a few different things. Um, I do like the old school cafe racers and I've seen a couple of 120cc ones and 110cc and smaller engine cafe races obviously that I can ride on the plates. So uh, I'm toying with a couple of them. Um, yeah, I've seen a couple of them about. Uh, there's one at the moment, a 1973 Honda on uh, eBay. Whoops. I didn't want to go down that many gears. Actually, I changed my mind. I'm going that way! Just as well I'm doing this at night. Uh, yeah, I've seen a couple about. I mean, obviously, a lot of the old school proper cafe races like 700cc, 600cc, stuff like that. But there is a couple of smaller engine ones about that obviously would be quite good for me. So I'm toying with the idea of getting one, but obviously, it's do I get it as a main bike? Or I do I get it along with another bike and just use it pottering, well not pottering around, but just use it a bit more as a shows and stuff like that. And just having nice rides out on it, which is what I'm uh, quite tempted to do. But I don't know. Time with different ideas, pushing the boat up with different things. But that's really what I'd like to ask. What's your opinion on... Uh, the cafe racer style bikes. Um, I mean, I know what Spicy 110 was saying. Thanks, mate. Not like I had my indicator on or anything to show that I was going that way. Um, yeah, what's your opinion on that style of bikes? I know Spicy 110 was saying about his being um, a Sinus. Um, a Sinus Apache. Um, but was obviously he had the pulse adrenaline before. Um, but Sinis do one called a cafe, which is obviously you can buy them brand new, 1600, 1500 quid, which obviously is a pretty decent price. And I'd be looking about that to get at least that, really, I should be saying, to get a proper old like 1970s one or whatever. Um, so do I just go for one of them and just use that as my, my daily kind of thing? I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't know where I'm going either. I'm going right, apparently. Fucking get in neutral. One problem I found with this bike, it doesn't seem to click into ne into first from neutral quite a lot. So I'm definitely oh shit, definitely not going to get one of these. <laughs> yeah, really not a fan of this bike. I don't know if you've noticed. There's some stuff I do like about it, but not much. Um, yeah. Is it? Would it be worth getting something like that? Um, I don't know. I don't know what I want. That's the other thing, because I can't find anything else of the same style as mine, and I can't find anything else within the price range that I'm expecting to be getting for mine that I actually want. Um, that's, yeah, that's my problem. Um, I don't know when I'm going to be getting paid out either. And obviously until I do get paid out for at least the bike, I don't really know what I can afford to have. Um, I'm basically looking up to maybe a grand and a half, and I think that'll be the absolute maximum on grand and a half, maybe two, pushing it. But I mean, obviously I don't, I don't want to, if I can find something cheaper, I'll happily go for that. I'm not fussed about having a new bike. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not fussed about having a new bike. Where do I go? Oh, I think I'll turn right here. Um, yeah. What do I go for, if anybody's got any ideas? I mean, I would like to 
stay with the big name, more named brands like Yamaha, like this, uh, Honda and Suzuki and that. But, but I would consider a lot of other things. Um, I'm not massively fussed. Um, like I say, I'm not I'm not massively snobby. But if I could get an old cafe racer or that style bike, fairly cheap, please comment below. Or please tag anybody that you know, or think no, or just refer them to me. Um, because I'd really like one. Um, it's just cost. Um, but obviously if I'm going for an older one, it probably wouldn't be my first bike. Like main bike kind of thing. Um, but I don't know, it dep depends what I get, depends on if I do end up having two bikes. If I am going to go down the line of having two bikes, obviously, I don't want to be paying as much for either of them, um, but I don't know, I don't know what I want and I don't know what kind of cost I'm wanting to pay, I guess it's one of them things that you don't know until, Rosas, you don't know until you do get one, or you don't know until you start looking on what you're going to have. Um, whew. So yeah, just please, input would be very nice. Um, into what people think would be nice. Um, I don't really have a style of bike. Um, I will ride most things. I do like to be high up like I was on the uh, CLR but if I am in a more low down position like this or like you are on cafe races I wouldn't be too fussed. Um, I just don't, I'm not a massive fan of crossover bikes because end of the day you get a bike to sit doing one thing. I don't really see the point in the half an hour. Um, but that's just my personal opinion I guess. Um, but yeah I know, I know people say oh you should choose your own style of bike, yeah, you go off whatever you want. I'm pretty easy going. Um, for me I'm not fussed if I end up having a couple of bikes in the space of a year. Try different things out, find out what you like, I guess. Um, I guess it's the same with a lot of things when it comes to, like, if you're like me into kayaking, what kind of kayak you prefer? Do you want a big one, a short one? Do you want one you can do tricks? Do you want one you can bash down rivers? Do you want two? Do you want one crossover? It comes down to stuff like that. Personal choice. But if you can try different things, go for it. I guess it's the same with bikes. Do you want a street bike? Do you want, uh, like, cycle bikes I'm on about here. Do you want a mountain bike? Do you want a jump bike? Do you want a hardtail? Do you want full suspension? What kind of suspension do you want set up? Uh, what kind of suspension do you want set up? Like I say, personal opinion. But the more you try, the more you know if it's not knowing what you do want, it's not it's knowing what you definitely don't want. Which is always a good thing. Um Yeah, it's, it's like I say, pers it all comes down to personal preference, what you like, what you don't like, what you want and what you don't want. But I am more than happy to get something, realise I don't like it and sell it. I'd rather do that when I get to play on different bikes, do reviews of them, which is quite good fun. I did enjoy doing the re review on this, <laughs> although I think I may do another one at some point before I get rid of it, well, before it goes back to the garage, because... There's a couple of things I've, when I've watched other reviews on other bikes, a couple of things I know on what I should be touching up on, what I shouldn't, and less rambling I guess. <laughs> but, like I say, it was my review, my personal opinion, and done in my style. And I guess I know that for most things, my view, my opinion and my own style. rather confused way I guess it is. Yeah. Ooh. 
I don't actually know where I'm going. Uh, I am just going in this direction, which is the total opposite way to home. But, let's see what's down here. <laughs> Tell you what though, I was looking at um, a couple of things, these sports bikes and that. Oh yeah, obviously, whatever you do, if you do want to, or do decide to recommend me a bike, or try selling me a bike, um, make sure it's a 125 or preferably, preferably 125 or over 100cc. I'm gonna go right. I don't know where that was even, but it just seems like a good idea. Um, yeah, make sure it's over at 125 or uh, yeah, I'll go this way. Or at least over 100. What speed me for it? Yeah, at least over 100cc, so it has got a bit of uh, spunk about it. But I'm not massively fussed. I will either have a look at most things, try most things. And that's not just with bikes, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Shit, I'm in the wrong lane. Um, I don't know why I'm saying I'm in the wrong lane, because I don't actually know where I'm going. Um, Yeah, I forgot what we're on about. Yeah, if no, I've lost it. I've lost it. I know I've lost the plot ages ago, but I've just totally lost the plot again. Oh yeah, if you. <laughs> yeah, I'm gone. I'm not actually tired. I'm just exhausted. Oh, that bump hurt. Yeah, make sure it's a decent bike. I would like something that will do more than 60. I'd, I'd rather not be going under 60, but then again, if it's more of a choice as a second bike, I'm not too fussed if it doesn't quite do 60, as long as it does more than like 45-ish, so I'm not just a pain in the bollocks. Well, um, I don't want to be a nuisance or cause a hazard. Um, but yeah, please, input comments. <laughs> so basically I've ended up in Leeds. Oh well. I don't know where I'm going. Apparently this way. I don't know what is this way though. I guess he's going there. <laughs> Whoa! What the hell? This isn't good. Um, right, um, night.